What's up guys? Joseph Rackets here from josephracketsfitness.com and today in this video I'm going to take you through one of my legal cuts. Now first exercise that we're going to be doing is going to be barbell squats. Now the reason I decided for the barbell squats is a big heavy compound exercise. We can place a lot of weight overload onto the muscle. Great exercise for working the quads, the hamstrings and also the glutes. Now depending on where you have your feet placement and depending how low you go there's going to be different amounts of stress um, and activation on different areas of the quad, hamstring, and glutes. Now, if we're going to be using a narrow stance, there's going to be more stress on the outer quads of the next week. The wider you have your stance, the more uh, inner thigh. So just having different feet placement like that is going, to take diff, is going to place different stress on different areas of the leg. Also, if you're not using a full range of motion, just partial, you're putting most of the stress on your quads. That's why box squats are sometimes a good exercise to include in the workout because it allows that stress for the quads only. If you want to activate the hamstrings and glutes, you want to squat right the way down from nice and deep. Because the lowest range of motion, when you're right down deep, that is where the hamstrings and glutes fire. So for this, um, we're doing five sets in total, and the rep range is anywhere from six being the heaviest working set um, and 20 being the lightest working set. And that was exercise number one. I'm going to do five sets in total for that. That was my fourth set, so one more, and then we'll move on to the next exercise. All right, guys, exercise number two. If you haven't figured out already, or if you haven't seen the thumbnail, this video is all squats. So I'm only doing squats only for this workout. We've done barbell squats, now we're on to hack squats. Now, the way I'm going to do my hack squats is a slow negative. I'm going to come slow on the way down, and then explode up. Slow on the way down, and then explode up. Keeping the weight heavy on this one, uh, keeping the reps low, so roughly uh, four at the lowest and probably 12 at the, um, the lightest. Five sets in total, each time progressing up in weight, as the weight increases, the reps decrease. I'm then going to reset this with another variation of the squat, and that is partial bodyweight squats, which I'll show you guys very soon. So we're really focusing on a slow negative on the way down. So every time on the slow knee, there's actually so much muscle fibers being ripped. A lot of people always miss out the negative part of rep, and it's so crucial for maximum muscle growth. Straight into our superset, partial body weight squats. Have your feet together, so I'm going to go out of quad sweep, and you're right the way down, and only going to come up three quarters. is the superset. Great way to burn the quads out. The reason we're doing the partial is to keep the tension and keep the stress there. As soon as you do a full range of motion, and as soon as you fully stand up, lock out the knees, the quads um, get a break and get a rest. And that's not what you want when you're trying to um, get that muscle growth. You're gonna apply as much stress and as much tension as you can. All right guys, third exercise now. Fourth, if you're including the superset that we did. We are now on to front squats. Again, another variation of squats. Now, why are we doing front squats instead of a back barbell squat? The reason being is because when you're doing a back squat, 
uh, what, end up, what ends up happening is you end up leaning forwards like this. And yes, you put a lot of stress on your quads, hands and glutes, but if you want to place more stress on your quads, a front squat is actually better. And it keeps your body straight like this, but you have to balance the weight up here along your throat. Great exercise for hitting the quads. You can't put as much weight on the bar as you can for a back squat, but definitely a killer. And if you haven't tried a front squat, I suggest you do. There are two different variations on how you can actually grab this. Um, there's the first way, which is like this. So you put it against your throat there like this, and you cross your hands up like this, and you hold it there like that. A lot of people feel comfortable this way. For myself, for some reason, I feel comfortable just holding it like this. Whatever you feel is most comfortable for you, do it that way. So we're going to do four sets of this exercise. Rep range is anywhere from 6 being the heaviest working set and 20 being um, the lighter sets. You want to make sure you go right foot down as well. And that right there is your front squats. Alright guys, we're now to our last exercise for quads. Again, it's another squat. This workout is squats only. We are now going to a dumbbell wide stance squat. Now, why are we doing a wide stance squat? Reason being, because the wider you stance, the more uh, inner thigh you can work, the more hamstring and the more glute you're also going to activate. Plus, if you have your toes slightly pointed, it's going to work more of this teardrop muscle here on your quad. That muscle just right there. So this is a great exercise for this teardrop, hands, glutes, and inner thigh. Um, using a close grip, obviously, we've got the outer quad sweep. Now, the way I hold this dumbbell is like this. The reason I hold it like this is because it allows me to sink right down. You want to make the weight sink right down. Hold up, guys. <laughs> hey, Dad. Hey. Did I? What? Anyway. Back to your sumo. Back to my, back to my workout. What we're doing is the dumbbell uh, wide stance squats. I've already explained it, so I can't get into it now. Wide stance. Right the way down. Power up. And there you go guys, that is the end of the leg workout done. Squats only, um, time for me to go eat now, super hungry. Thank you for watching, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. And if you need help building muscle, you can download my free muscle building ebook. Completely free, all you need to do is enter your name, email, download my ebook and I'll send that out to you. Link is in the description box down below.